Geekway channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about uh, web analysis, basically web security analysis. So the whatever the application you are testing, uh, the web application, so that web, web application is uh, secured enough. So it's kind of a beginner level. Uh, it's like uh, OWASP top 10 standard. So uh, the tool I'm going to show you will uh, analysis uh, itself like, uh, by give, like by taking the host name. For example, if you are testing a, a website called uh, PhonePay, right? PhonePay.com. So that PhonePay.com it will take and whatever the URL it's associated with the whole web page, it will test uh, based on the top 10 standards. Okay. So uh, before going to uh, see the tool, you have to learn basic stuff about OASP uh, top 10. So it's already mentioned in the website. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just provide this in the description also if required. So top 10 web application security risks are here. Uh, injection maybe in 2021 it's updated based on the, uh, the issue. For example, broken access control is uh, top one uh, in 2021. Maybe the identification of authentication failure will be uh, top one, uh, top uh, ten in the sense top one of 2023. So based on the uh, issue uh, seriousness, it will it will be aligned one to ten. That's that's not a problem for us. Just read everything like uh, kind of uh, each one. What is this injection? Injecting some script and trying to steal the information from the web. Broken authentication, sensitive data exposure. So when we are getting the response or uh, request like uh, exposing the sensitive data to the public or uh, uh, like to everyone is a problem. So XML, external entity, so broken access control, like everything. Uh, Cross-site scripting, JavaScript injection we can do uh, using component known vulnerability, insufficient logging and monitoring. So everything is like... Uh, one or the other way, it's uh, uh, useful to fix the issue. So there are, for example, insufficient logging and monitoring and all will come under low uh, priority. But broken access or uh, cross-site scripting, injection, these stuff and all will be like a priority to high level. So based on the stuff, it will be prioritized. So whatever the uh, application we are going to test, so the, the tool will automatically uh, test uh, uh, like all this uh, top 10 one. So, but uh, once you get the report right, if you want to understand uh, what is that report means, like before that, you have to understand these top 10 standards, what is the actual issues, okay. So, just read about it, then it will be easy for you. Also, uh, I'm going to use Kali Linux for this because... Uh, <sighs> Kali Linux for this because... Kali Linux is like kind of a security, offensive security test uh, OS, which is uh, like, uh, it's almost like similar to Linux, but uh, it has a lot of uh, tools like available for testing the security. So in this uh, tutorial, we are going to use uh, Zap, OASP Zap. Uh, like uh, once you are going to here, you can see web application analysis Zap. So uh, actually I'm using a virtual box kind of a VMware. I have installed Kali Linux on this and I'm using it. Okay. So if you have a separate system, you can install Kali Linux or you can use uh, VMware. Uh, also Zap is available for the Windows Mac uh, standalone version. Also you can download, but it's not uh, like looks good for me. So I taken the Kali Linux only. So you, if you have the system, just install the Zap community edition or free version just try it out in your system only okay so i'll just open the zap uh, also we need some sample site uh, let's see i'll take a techie qa site maybe so once it open it's i'm using 2.10 which is uh, inbuilt with the Kali Linux. you can use the latest version so here is the UI, UI will be look, look like this. So there is uh, two options, like three options. Two options actually is uh, help site, automated and manual explore. So automated, what it will do, that site, it will automatically do all the action and try to find the URL and do it. Manual, what it is like, it will open the browser, you have to explore yourself. So manual one, we can see other day and automate one, we can start doing it. So maybe what I'll do, take it dot 
live it's a just a web page small web page uh, it doesn't have much uh, links or back links and all there so use traditional spiral just check on it uh, firefox headless like i'm using it because installed with firefox i'll just start attack so once you start attack you can see all the urls here it will just uh, try to uh, get all the url and uh, try to uh, find all the vulnerabilities in the website let's wait for the report yeah now we can see how many requests sent here so it will check things whatever associated with this site uh, so once all the check is done uh, it will just end and it will show the report so what i'll do for the tutorial i'll just stop it manually uh, we can see the report how it look like we can see all the request and all sent here so current scan is zero so it stopped currently so you you can you just directly go to report and generate html so it will generate html and it will open with the browser so maybe uh, i'll just uh, save as a file so once you saved it will be open with the browser in build browser whatever it is yeah uh, in this report we can see uh, medium is one and low is one which is related to x frame option header not set and one more is header is missing which is low one uh, it's it's all under like uh, this OASP uh, standards like the checks okay it will uh, give you the url as well as uh, it will give you the solution most modern web browsers support x frame http ensure it is set for all the web pages written by your site okay alternatively consider implementing content security policy frame ancestors you if you do it it will be more secure so it will give you the suggestion also what we have to do it okay so if you select for other site maybe you are uh, uh, the site you are uh, testing so I, I'm, I'm not able to use other site because i'm just showing you a demo even uh, i cannot take a public site right so it will block uh, maybe uh, block block my ip if i'm doing something related to security without their permissions so don't do that also i'm suggesting like whatever you are using the site like you are testing one so that one you have to use it okay guys so uh, use like uh, kind of uh, the site uh, which is like having lot of links lot of uh, models this this site is very smaller one that's why you're able to see very less okay okay guys thanks for watching this video maybe next video i can show you how to do the manual explore uh that also because this one is like kind of it's automatically going to a few pages and getting all the links but uh in the manual maybe you can you can uh explore the flow for example uh, amazon if you're testing so you can check the order flow and see the security analysis okay so maybe in the next video we can see it uh, thank you guys thanks for watching my video if you like it please share with your friends and subscribe thank you